What's going on guys, Victor here, and in this week's Tackle Tuesday, we're talking fluorocarbon, we're talking saving money, and we're talking about getting the best bang for your buck when it comes to fluorocarbon leader material. So in this video, in order to come to a conclusion for the best bang for your buck fluorocarbon, I did two things. Number one, I am going to include my personal opinion on each fluorocarbon leader material for the big brands. But I also went ahead and did a little research because I love researching things and I love finding the actual uh, price of things. And I went ahead and made a little chart. I did some research online. I tried to find the most affordable of each brand of fluorocarbon across all different sites such as Tackle Direct, Amazon, and I found the lowest prices on here. And I, I went ahead and made a little chart and what I did is, when you guys are considering a fluorocarbon brand, you should be considering not the size of the spool, not the overall price, but the price per yard. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the price of the actual actual spool divided by how many yards are in that spool and there you get your price per yard. So you might seem like you're getting a good deal, but unless you're actually looking at that price per yard, you have no idea how much you're actually paying for your floor carbon. Additionally, I have already made a video in the past addressing whether or not floor carbon leader is worth your money and basically all about fluorocarbon, what it is, uh, the marketing strategies these fluorocarbon leader companies throw at you to try to get you to buy the stuff. I broke it down to the bare core and tell you guys, you know, essentially why you should be fishing a fluorocarbon, in my opinion and based on research itself. So check that video out below. With all that being said, when it comes to a fluorocarbon leader material, now I have been fishing for a long time and I have fished a multitude of brands and I like a lot of them. I'm not bashing any of them. But I'm going to give you guys the cold hard facts when it comes to prices and when it comes to the actual performance of the fluorocarbon. Now, in the past, so I got a list here, and I'm just going to list them real quick. I got Yozuri, Seaguar, Triple Fish, High Seas, Mamoy, GT, Advanced, Bull Buster, fluorocarbon. Now I have fished all of these, and in my personal opinion, when you're looking for a fluorocarbon, you want a nice, stiff fluorocarbon. Because as you guys will see, like I mentioned in my other uh, video, if you're not fishing a fluorocarbon for the right reasons, you might as well not buy it at all. For fluorocarbon, you want a nice, stiff, abrasion-resistant, strong fluorocarbon. Now, with that being said, the Seaguar fluorocarbon actually comes out to be the most expensive fluorocarbon on the market with an average price point of 98 cents per yard and it is actually one of the softest fluorocarbons I have ever fished. A lot of people like it, but based on my personal opinion and me fishing it, I don't like it, especially when it comes to fishing for fish with abrasive mouths. So that guy is off the list. My, um, now we got, let me gonna give you guys some of the lower priced fluorocarbons, including triple fish, which comes out at 59 cents per yard, high seas at 64 cents per yard, and GT Advanced made by Upro. Now these three fluorocarbons, they're not bad, but they are also on, on the softer side. And they, I just don't feel like they're as good of quality as the other ones. Now the GT Advance comes out at 57 cents per yard, and it is the cheapest fluorocarbon. And I have fished it in the past, it works, but I will tell you, out of every fluorocarbon I've ever fished, it is the softest one, and it honestly feels just like a monofilament. So I do not recommend this one, even though it is cheap, don't fall for the gimmick. But like I said, it does work, but I just don't think you're getting what you should be getting for a fluorocarbon, because for a fluorocarbon, you want a nice, stiff, abrasion-resistant material. Now, triple fish and high seas, they're okay, but still not the greatest. Now I'm going to move into my two top favorite fluorocarbons. So, Coming in at, well not coming in, these are going to be a tie. So you got Yozuri and Bullbuster. So Yozuri HD Carbon versus Bullbuster. Now Yozuri fluorocarbon averages out at 85 cents per yard. I cannot say anything bad about this fluorocarbon. It's great. I fished it. I'm trying to be transparent with you guys. I am affiliated with Bullbuster and this is me coming out as someone who, you know, works with Bullbuster, but I'm straight up telling you guys that Yozuri is good stuff. It comes out at 85 cents per yard, so it's not the most expensive, but then again, it's not the cheapest. Now, Bullbuster. I gotta come out and say it because I like to be transparent with you guys, and I want you guys to know 
I am affiliated with Bullbuster, but I have been affiliated with them for a couple months now, and Bullbuster Fluorocarbon, I wanted to make a video for them in the very beginning when I signed up for their program, but I didn't want to because I wanted to actually fish this stuff. Now if you guys have been watching the videos, I have been fishing Bullbuster for the last two, three months, and it has been great. I caught Snook on it, I have caught Grouper on it, I have caught uh, AJ's on it, uh, Kingfish, Tuna, all the stuff. This is the fluorocarbon I've been fishing for the last couple months, and it has served me really well. As far as the actual leader material, if you had to compare it to anything, I'd have to compare it just to the Yozuri. There are no other fluorocarbon companies besides Yozuri and Bullbuster that are as stiff as Bullbuster and Yozuri. And that's what I like in a fluorocarbon. It sits nice and straight, um, it's very strong, and I like it. I cannot say anything bad about the Bullbuster. And here is where the Bullbuster is phasing out the Yozuri. So I told you guys that Yozuri is 85 cents a yard. Well, Bullbuster comes out to be 81 cents a yard if you guys buy it one spool per order online. That is using my promo code, which gives you guys 10% off. So that will be in the description box below. So if you guys buy Bullbuster on their website, they do not sell in stores because they're all about being brand direct and they're all about just cutting out the middleman and saving money for you guys, which I really like about them and I like to work with a company like that. So if you guys only buy one spool using my promo code, including shipping and handling, comes out to 81 cents a yard. That's, that's, that's 81 cents a yard and the Yozuri was 85 cents a yard. That's not including shipping and handling. This Bullbuster is 81 cents a yard, including shipping and handling. But you guys can get that price even lower. You could end up paying 63 cents a yard if you buy uh, two spools or more. If you go on Bullbuster's website and you guys buy two or more of any product, you get free shipping. And if you use my promo code, you get that 10% off. So if you guys use my promo code, you guys get the free shipping by buying two spools of more, which, let's face it, you're probably going to order more than one spool of fluorocarbon anyway, comes out to 63 cents a yard. So there are only two things cheaper than that, and that is the Triple Fish and the GT Advance. But like I told you guys, the GT, GT Advance is super soft. The Triple Fish is okay, but it's it's still not at that quality caliber as that Bull Buster in Missouri. So, I just wanted to share this video, guys. It was a very laid back video, and I really wanted to be honest with you. You know, I got all this Bull Buster here. Yes, I am an affiliated with them, but that's why I waited so long to make this video because I wanted to really fish their product, and that's why I waited so long to make it. But this is a badass fluorocarbon, guys. And it comes in 50 yard spools, which is nice because a lot of the companies, they're pushing the 25 yard and the 30 yard spools. But Bullbuster makes it in the 50 yard spool. Um, they're local to South Florida. Shipping is real fast. It never takes more than two days if you're local in the Southeast area. And yeah, so love the stuff. If you guys like this video, this more laid back style video, make sure to give it a comment below. I'm happy you guys came in and tuned into this week's Tackle Tuesday. And I'll be seeing all you guys on my land sharks in that next video.